Good morning, everyone. It's another Sunday morning vlog. Hello, everyone. So glad you could be with us today. Obviously, we're very happy to be here, are we not? We are. We're laughing already and we haven't even started. <laughs> we're going to do a special vlog for you today. This is all by request. It is. So many of you have asked in the comments about the gear that we use, the software we use, how we put vlogs together. We decided it's time to show you. Yeah, but before we do that, we have a couple special announcements. Yeah, a special week on May the 20th. Jennifer is having a birthday your husband Brian and we wish you happy birthday Jennifer happy birthday Jennifer and on the 22nd of May a year ago Lisa and Lee from the Isle of Wight were out here in Vegas and got married at the Flamingo and I think they said they were gonna should have been here they wanted to be here but let's hope you can celebrate your second anniversary next year yeah happy first anniversary you guys and there's also one other person that has a birthday coming up on the 23rd of May is it who would that be that'd be her don't ask her how old she is. She won't tell you. No, I won't. Happy birthday, Paula. Thank you, my darling. <laughs> Moving All right, on. Let's get into it now. <laughs> Here's the workhorse of the operation right here. This is an Osmo Pocket by DJI. It's an amazing, amazing tool. It's a camera. It does sound. It does special effects. It fits in your pocket, and it also you hold it in the palm of your hand, and it's very hard for people to even know that you, what you're doing. Yeah, right? it's very inconspicuous. One of the things we love about it, actually. But it does take unbelievable pictures and it also has a gimbal. Tell them what a gimbal is, Paul. Uh, yeah, it has in-camera stabilization. So actually, if you're walking along on the strip or wherever out in Valley of Fire, um, we still get beautiful, smooth shots because it's stabilizing as we go. I'm taking your picture with it right now. I'm just gonna move this camera in different directions and you'll notice that the camera... The head pivots. It pivots and stays. Best feature about this camera. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a terrific unit, and honestly, it's not that expensive either. No, and it does 4K video. We're very happy with the yeah. Osmo Pocket. All right, the other one that I use and I like a lot. This is my uh, iPhone. It is an iPhone 11 Pro Max with an amazing set of cameras in this thing. I use this for panning, and in other words, like uh, the, the video that we're going to be doing today and showing you is Caesar's Palace. But I would stand on the other side of the road and I would pan like this. Go very slowly, try not to move around to get any bumps. And as you can see, you're looking at the picture right now. It's an amazing picture, is it? It is. And the other great thing about that iPhone is it's amazing in low light with both video and photos. Um, it just really compensates for all kinds of lighting conditions. I love it. Yes. <laughs> all right, we have one other camera. Yeah. Um, when we are out vlogging, we like to supplement the video you're watching with still photos sometimes. This is an older Panasonic GF6 that I've been carrying around in my purse and bag for years. Um, just recently, we upgraded to the Lumix G9, which is a far better machine. We're actually filming on that one today. Yes, yeah, but well, you got a little picture of it, but you did, not a real Osmo. good one. <laughs> so that's going to do it for the cameras. Let's get into the sound. Uh, when we started out, we didn't have a clue how to do sound on this, did we? Yeah, our son recommended that we get the Zoom Field Recorder. It was actually the first piece of gear we got. And uh, it's been a wonderful little machine. We take it everywhere with us. Again, this fits in your pocket, or you can put it on your, the belt loop, whatever you want, and you just have all the controls right at your hand. The only drawback to this is it only you, uh, you can only put one mic into it, and since we're two people, we couldn't use it. So we ended up buying the Zoom H5, which I'll insert a picture of that right now, because it's actually doing the sound for us as we talk. But it allows us to both have a lavalier mic, and that really helps, especially in things like Paula's Kitchen. <laughs> and speaking of lavalier mics... This is a Rode. We just bought these, and uh, these hook up very well, and the sound is terrific. If you watched Paula's last uh, cooking video with Durango Dale, it would, by the way, that, that's a good-looking guy, isn't he? He's he, wonderful. He is. Moving on. He, well, this is a, a lavalier bike, and uh, they're brand new. We just got those. Last but not least, let's get into lighting. Uh, we don't use lighting too much, but if it is dark or if we want to do some special effects or something, we have these. Our son turned us on to these. In fact, he bought these for us for... Christmas. This is an Aperture MC, and uh, it's it's a light. It's a mini LED light. You can actually control it with your smartphone. It has multiple colors and hues and intensities. It has effects. You can actually simulate fireworks. Um, it's really an amazing light. We do have a couple of those, and they're wonderful. Yeah, it's an Aperture MC. All right, that's it for the gear. Let's get into how we do a vlog. What do you think? I think it's time. Let's go vlogging. Come on. Uh, all right, this adventure starts right now. 
Okay, let's start at the beginning. If you're going to put out a video every Sunday, you have to have a plan well in advance. It takes a good solid four days to accomplish all this so that I can be sitting at the computer with all the media ready no later than Wednesday morning to pull it off. And actually, Tuesday's even better. So, let's walk through a resort tour we did in early 2020, Caesar's Palace, full of history and Roman beauty. We decided almost two weeks earlier that we were going to do Caesar's, so we started planning. A property this big almost always requires two passes in order to get everything we need. I do the first pass on a weekday, usually a Thursday or Friday at lunchtime. There are lots fewer people in my way, and I'm a gal on a mission. I check the website first, get the lay of the land, and plan my route. I need to capture the restaurants, the attractions, the show venues, and anything else notable inside the casino. Now the equipment I take with me tends to be low key because I don't want to draw attention to myself inside the casinos especially. I take our DJI Osmo Pocket video camera of course without a rig because it's so small and then a small lightweight Panasonic GF6 camera for the stills. I have a little small camera case that these all fit in. I just sling it over my shoulder and I'm on my way. The night before, we charge everything up and clear off the media from last week's vlog. Then when I go to the resort the next day, I do one pass through everything for capturing the video, and then I swing around again for the photos. Let me just say, I really enjoy these solo trips to the Strip, and I always seem to have a fun encounter or capture something weird happening that of course doesn't make it into the final vlog. For example, when I was at Caesars, there was this guy taking a walk in the Trevi Fountain outside the forum shops. What happens in Vegas? I shake my head. On the weekend, Sunday is our preference. If we can manage it, we go down to the resort together. This is the trip where we do our intro and outro and do all the exterior shots. So I put the DJI on a small rig. The rig allows me to use my phone as a monitor so I can set up the shots. We try to get the resort from different angles, and if we can go across the street and get a wide shot, we always do that as well. We look for interesting spots to do intros and outros out of people's way, of course. We still get funny looks though, but then again we sometimes run into somebody that recognizes us too. When we are at the resort, we like to grab a bite to eat to showcase a favorite spot of ours and to give you guys an idea where good food can be found. For the Caesars video, we chose Planet Hollywood over in the forum shops. A. We absolutely love their thin crust margarita pizza and B. We know they have an outdoor patio with a fantastic view of Caesars. We pretty much do this last on the agenda, you know, once the work is done and it ends up being a celebration by that time. Vlogging is not easy. It can be very, very hard work. Back at home, it's my job to load the video, audio, and photos from all the cameras and devices onto our Mac. I take a couple of hours to organize it all by subject because it just makes the editing process easier for Dale. For a resort walkthrough like this one, I will set up folders for each restaurant, each entertainment venue, each bar, the exterior, the pool, the lobby, and all the notable stops in the resort that we will want to cover. While I'm doing that, I create a paper list for Dale to refer to when he's editing. I developed this simple template a long time ago and I fill this out for each video so that he can just look down and check things off as he's working. All right, now I am ready to set up the project. We use Apple's Final Cut Pro software for editing and post-production. We've been using it actually since early 2019. Couldn't do this without it. Now Dale is gonna get a bit of time off before his big push because I have to write him a script. For a resort like Caesars, I use their website, of course, for most of the detail on the venues and the restaurants, and then I search sources on the web, news articles, our review journal here in Las Vegas, Wikipedia, and so on, for the history portion. We love the historic aspect of these resorts, and we will always weave that into our story.
I've been doing this for a year and a half and I've tried this a few different ways. What works best for me is to record all the voiceover first and then build the visual side of the project from that. The resort opened in August 1966 at a cost of $25 million and it had one 14-story, 700-room tower. My, how times have changed. Look at all the towers now, six of them with almost 4,000 rooms total. I use Apple's Logic Pro to record that because it allows me to achieve consistent volume and the best sound. Just recently, I invested in a Shure SM7B microphone, which is a standard for production, especially in a YouTube realm. Okay, this is how I get started when I'm uh, making my video. First thing I have to do is I have to uh, find my logo over here on this side and we just search up and there it is that's my logo I'm sure you're familiar with that I drag that down into the timeline and the first thing you see here this is my my sound bar here and this is way too loud it's uh, a very loud clip so I bring it down just from practice I bring it down to minus nine decibels and let's see what that sounds like this this is gonna sound familiar to you so that is my my logo with the sound now I like to animate my logo as well I made this when I first started doing YouTube and I didn't know what I was doing so I had to sort of invent things as I went along there's a program in here called Ken Burns and it allows me to do little animations on texts and things like that or bring pictures uh, closer to you now let's see what it looks like with the animation on and this is how I usually start most of my videos All right, we've got the, uh, the logo and the animation. Now we have to bring in the very first clip, and that is always our intro. We either do that on site or we do it in our backyard, but we always uh, put the intro right after the logo. Let me just play a little bit of this. All right, you hear that click? That's called, let's do that one more time. That's called a click track. If I've used a, uh, an additional microphone uh, that has another source uh, collecting the, the sound as well, I need to click that up or sync that up with this video clip that we have here. So uh, I need that click to be on both things and line up. And I also use that in case, uh, or just tells me that once I hear that click, I'm coming up to uh, the, the actual start of the video. Now. We don't want that on there, so we have to eliminate that. So I just zip that little part out, bring this over. Now the intro clip, I you'd like to just bring it over a little bit onto my logo, and I add a little transition. I know this is kind of complicated, but uh, it's basically what I do to start a vlog. And now let's see the final product. Good morning, everyone. We are back down on the strip again. We are, and look at this lovely lady over my shoulder. And there you go. That's how we start a vlog. What I love most about the editing process is being creative. For this video, when I was talking about the showroom, I wanted to use some visuals to pay tribute to some of the great entertainers who played there over its history. And I had this great idea to use album covers. I own most of these myself, so it was easy to get the photos of them and do this creative treatment with the overlays. And then, last but not least, I add the music. I call this the soundtrack to the story. I comb through literally hundreds of samples in the YouTube audio library till I find just the right one for what you're seeing. If you've been watching us for a while, you know I have some go-to favorites that you probably recognize. I guess you can call that branding. Okay, we're back at the computer. Now, this is going to sound very familiar. Computer starts right now. That is how I know that we're going to get into the actual video. But I do need my first clip. I've already, uh, I know what this was because we've already done this video. And I'm just going to insert that into the storyline. Okay, this clip... Is, uh, was done with my iPhone. This is one of those pans that we did. As you can hear, it's got a lot of noise. That's traffic, cars, people walking by, whatever. So I want to go into my uh, sound bar here and I want to take that all that sound and I want to take it down to nothing. <laughs> 
I want no sound. So now it, you'll see what it is now. So that's where the music comes in. I search the uh, YouTube library of music and I find just the right songs and this is the one that I picked for this particular clip. So let's see what happens now. I also want the music to start right when I say now. So I have to make sure that it's lined up pretty good. There you can see right where the music actually starts. So let's see if we're on the right spot. Now. Yeah, I think we did pretty good. Now, the other thing that I do is I do a voiceover on these clips, and I would, I'll sometimes do those live, or I'll sometimes have them recorded uh, previously. On this one, I did it live, so I don't have it here to show you, but I will insert the actual clip that you saw on YouTube right now so you can see the final product. Get ready, because this adventure starts right now. Caesar's Palace. This resort property has been holding rain over the center of the Las Vegas Strip since 1966, and you still can't help but feel a little awed standing in front of it. All right, we're almost done. I watched the video over and over and over, trim stuff out, tighten it up, smooth the flow, adjust the sound, and half the time I decide it's no good and I just want to scrap the whole project. I like to watch it at my big screen TV with the sound bar just to make sure that I didn't miss anything either visually or sound wise. And of course, this process is repeated over and over and over till I'm absolutely satisfied I have the best product to show you guys. For a Sunday premiere, we usually upload to YouTube on Saturday afternoon if we're ready because we still have a whole lot to do before go live. Dale creates the thumbnail, and for that, he uses his iPad and a couple of web tools that really help him build something eye-catching. Meanwhile, I do the YouTube setup, all the requirements before you can publish. The description box, the links, the end card, the keywords, all the stuff like that. Okay. We have one more step, so we decided to step outside to tell you about it. Yeah, we've been in the house too much, and right. it's really nice out here. So that step is promotion, very important. It's very important that we kind of give you a little teaser that the video is coming. So we split the duties on that. Yeah, I do the Insta story on Instagram and Paula does the Facebook. Yeah, he likes to put out a teaser the day before and then the morning of, he posts a really fun Insta story that should entice you to watch. And I do something similar on Facebook. Right, and then when the comments come in, we both answer the comments on e either one of those sites. Absolutely, we split the duties on that as well. Now YouTube, I don't do too much of that anymore because it's become quite overwhelming. Yeah, he looks at the sheer numbers and uh, can't, can't deal with it, but I can, and many of you have heard from me, of course. All right, I hope you enjoyed this vlog of making a vlog. Yeah, you can tell it's a labor of love for us. There's a lot of steps, but we've got a routine. We've got a rhythm, and um, it's, you know, it's working for us. I'll tell you the very best part of all of it, though, is on Sundays, once that video goes live, right. we make breakfast, and we sit together and read comments and reactions, and that really just makes our day. I'll, I'll tell you, you can't believe the nerves that go in uh, waiting for that thing to hit the air and then for waiting for that first comment or that first like thumbs up, thumbs or, up or, yeah. or a thumbs down which absolutely is devastating but <laughs> yeah and sometimes that does happen on the first day <laughs> yeah and within the first hour yeah but uh yeah you could uh you could tell that it really is uh it's a lot of work for us but uh, the payoff is great so if you're not subscribed please subscribe and don't forget about our social media anything else paula no hope you guys have a great week thank you for being with us on this this was a fun journey oh, be at a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.